Hello everybody and welcome to Innocentious Place Hearts of Iron 4 as Poland where we are currently kicking German ass. Um, there have been some comments that I kind of forgot to edit this properly and I forgot to save while I uh, included the military police over here in this division. So that should make things a little bit better for them. And uh, how is our production of support equipment? We're in a kind of a deficit right now, but we just lost a lot of support equipment to just this. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get enough support equipment out to keep things going. But let's keep going with the advance. The German Reich is declaring war on Luxembourg. And the kind of thing that I'm hoping for right now is that Japan is not going to join the war. Dutch also were in the war. And they are the dangerous one. The Bel Belgium is also in the war. Because it might be that <sighs> Japan is joining the Axis. Hungary is joining the Axis. Ooh, that's really dangerous as well because Hungary is right over here. I'm going to pull out 24 divisions and they will be just going to focus on uh, the Hungarian front. And let's sign a general to them. Wait. People can become level 6? I thought level 5 was the highest. Interesting. Well, you learn something every day. Both of them are just for reconnaissance. So let's keep just this guy. Uh, let's make an offensive line for him as well. I'm just gonna say I want all of it. Like that. And they should now go over there. And look at that, there's a nice pocket over here that we might be able to close into. I'm gonna take... Well, there's some guys that are actually not part of that group. So we're just gonna keep it like that. Just keep advancing. Where do we have some resistance? Many places. But we gained some extra factories. Uh, I'm gonna put them on the support equipment because we are running out of that at the moment mostly. Get some new research going as well after the decryption uh, came through and I think we should be able to see that we have better decryption now yeah we have a decryption advantage and therefore we have better uh, damage and it's a 5% extra damage and I, I mean it's not the highest ever but it's definitely helping I do want to have construction 3 so we can uh, Prepare the buildings that are broken down a little bit faster. And there it is. Hungary joined into the war. Uh, many divisions are still not in position yet. But uh, I'm ha really happy that I actually put the divisions there as soon as possible. With weapons 2 done, we're going to go for improved infantry equipment. Um, we're not going to switch our production to weapons too because we are running super low on infantry equipment as it is already. And sure, we can have a non-aggression pack with Belgium. And if we now switch our production, that will make things, well, a lot slower for producing. He is having some problem estimating right now. Large river cross crossing, the divisions are not in position and he feels the enemy is superior. So maybe we should actually add a couple of extra divisions over there. But right now I think things are fine. It looks like France is actually pushing into uh, Italian territory as well. Well, the Germans still hold a little extra land over there. We have better artillery equipment right now. That's really nice. Uh, I don't really need to go for the improved anti-tank. Well, the improved anti-tank is really better with hard attack and piercing. I don't think we are going to produce so much of it because we are still in a massive shortage of anti-tank equipment as well. So instead, uh, land doctrine, of course, we don't really have much to do. I'm just going to go with better military police. Can we deploy some over here again? Unfortunately not. We 
we really should actually assign perhaps some extra troops to the Hungarian front. Right now it is pretty much a stalemate, but I'm not sure. Non-aggression packs with the Dutch and the Luxembourgians, that's absolutely fine. I just wish we could finish off the Germans sooner rather than later. Why is... Hungary is not in the war but also in the war. That doesn't sound, sound correct, game. Eh? Uh, they are, are either in the war or not. Not both. We're just missing oil, so that's actually really good. And it looks like we're actually getting uh, more support equipment out there than we are being than it's being used. And yeah, that's gonna be really good for all our divisions. Yeah, we should advance over here, see if we can clear that pocket out. There are a lot of divisions who are destroyed already. Because they were having no supply. And that makes it so much easier for the rest. Alright. Keep on pushing. And this becomes a bit more better. We have a superior enemy still. But at least they are not advancing anymore. And uh, that's good for us. Just keep them there. The worst case scenario would be if the Soviet Union starts declaring war on us. But we will get notification of that before it actually starts happening. And we're going to go with outdated equipment. We're going to produce weapons one. The basic weapons are even less uh, taxing on the industry itself. But they are so much worse as well. Going to deploy the horsemen. And we have our additional research slot. Which gives us the maximum of five research slots. I recently found out there is one nation that gets actually uh, access to perhaps a sixth one. And it's the United States. Uh, I was quite surprised with that actually, but uh, good for them. This is just too far ahead of time that I don't really want to do it. So I'm just going to go with encryption as well. And we need a new research focus. Let's see. Uh, let's go for some artillery modernization, which will lead us to uh, a, ha a bonus of research and artillery equipment, which we are using quite rapidly, and uh, more artillery is more better. What do we need? Oil, resistance to occupation, but only in a couple of places. And the key is like... The more you are um, pushing out the resistance, because it, it gives a bonus to neighbors as well. So if you are removing resistance in one province, it will have a trickle-down effect to the other provinces as well. The opposite is true as well. If you have resistance everywhere, it's more difficult to stamp out, actually, because it is everywhere. In the meantime, we're going to increase our conscription to a higher level, service by requirement, which will reduce our factory output. But we kind of need to because we are running low on manpower. And that's the kind of thing with this strategy. Um, it's really, really manpower intensive. In the meantime, I'm going to try and push a little bit on the Hungarians. See if we can make some headway into the country. Every piece of land that we will gain is another goal achieved. And we need to push in here over well. As, not over well, as well. Um, the battle plan is not taking care of this anymore. So we have to do it kind of manually. And that's a sad thing of the battle plan it is kind of limited in that regard and it always um, has problems with pockets like this when they start to come this and that should be the end of them all destroying divisions left and right now all right so we need to reassign a little bit of the offensive line. Because the line is still there. No, not garrison area. We want an offensive line. Like 
this pretty much. Then we're gonna draw a new offensive line here as well because we're going after Italy. And the first line will be before this big river. I'm just immediately gonna push through. Uh, the river is a really annoying part here in Italy and it's gonna make things a lot more difficult. But the fact that the, the UK is actually landing over there is gonna make things a lot easier. Some resistance to occupation. It's probably because we need to expand our area where we actually are using our cavalry who is good for anti-partisans duty. And let's see in the partisan mess mode. Well, there's some over here. And it is growing by a bit. It's mainly because Berlin is over there. But let's drop a couple of extra horsemen. And that should make things a bit easier again for them. And we, in the meantime, have three dockyards. And um, I'm just gonna build some subs. Just build some submarines. The German Reich has capitulated, finally. And we should move over here. Make a run like that. Is there anything left of the Germans over here? No, that means everybody's going down to this southern front. Uh, in the meantime, we are being a little bit overrun over there by the Hungarians. So we need to re-establish this offensive line two over here and we definitely need more men there so I'm gonna select a couple of those that are now going to be transported to the Italian line it's 13 men 16 21 22 23 one more you and I'm gonna just add you to this complete line as well and have an offensive line for you like uh, this the rest that is here I want to make sure that you're all assigned to this front line actually and the UK is actually being beaten back We're advancing uh, really well. Ah, well, I will just assign more people and make you a field marshal, actually. It's time to bring in the big guns. Or just more manpower. Can you advance over this river? Artillery modernization, really nice. Just advance and see if you can keep doing some damage. Army modernization, I would like that as well. Bender, uh, infantry equipment. Oh, uh oh. Japan is justifying a war against us. Not even Germany, just us. Uh, wait, not Germany. Not against the Netherlands. Normally they would often uh, fabricate against the Dutch. Get some better artillery. Yeah, we're running really low in equipment though. Well, they are pushing in here quite well. I'm gonna merge these guys. We have the decryption advantage now. That's also really nice. I'm gonna go over the atomic research. Uh, it gives a extra bonus to research time. The fall of Rome. Oh, that's really nice. They pushed into Rome. And the French are also close, so... Uh, like this. Here. Yeah, things are looking really nice. Except for that Hungary situation. I'm not happy with that. I'm gonna just start with the concentrated industry already. Our infantry equipment. 42 is way too far ahead of time. So we're not gonna bother with that in the meantime might as well get the improved anti-tank then and now with all these divisions they should be strong enough 
to finally beat back the Hungarians. They've taken way too much land over here. Which is hampering our industrial capacity because a lot of our factories were also here. Not an aggression pact with the People's Republic of China. Sure. You two push over here. But Japan was not called into the war yet. That's a positive thing. If we can beat down the Hungarians and Italians, and we might actually win this war before they are in. We are suffering quite a lot of attrition right now over here, so we should try to push through as quick as possible to limit the attrition problem. Try to gain as much land as possible. Well, the UK is doing a really splendid job over here with mopping up the rest of them. Alright, that's another piece of Italian land that's gone. Try to sneak around over here. So we can beat on that line a lot easier. Go over there. Capture these guys inside. They should die quite rapidly. Oh, and France just gave us this territory. That's really nice of them. Go take that city for me. It doesn't look like the Italians have much land anymore. I thought I told people to go here as well, but apparently I didn't. Or at least not properly. How is Italy actually doing in Africa? Now yeah, they're being be beaten back over there as well. Because they still have quite a lot of... Um, Provinces apparently that count for their national unity. And just keep advancing. We get some army modernization and improved artillery upgrades. For the army modernization, I will go for this one. Even though it's like 1.4 years ahead of time, it's only 140 days for researching because of that army bonus. And it makes it really, really nice. Let's go with anti-tank guns, because we are improving our anti-tank, and after that, there will be um, some extra. The Netherlands joined the Chinese front, United Front? Uh, but Japan declared war on the Netherlands, and now the Japan is inside of this war. Looks like? No. Japan is not in that war yet. Now it has been called in. Darn it, and just as we are about to sur make Italy surrender and Hungary as well. Well, the Hungarian front is looking pretty good at least. There is still some territory right here that is was captured of us. But we are making really good headway into Hungary itself. If we were just a little bit faster, we might have actually made it. I'm gonna assign you to the Russian front because I don't trust Russia at all. I do think that sooner rather than later they will declare war on us. But Italy is almost done capitulating. And the assassination of Leon Trotsky. Poor guy. And I think the UK will be able to deal with this uh, over here. Manchuko has capitulated. And Hungary has capitulated. Excellent. Well, Japan is being beaten back over here at least. So what do we need? I think uh, just anti-tank. Just build more of that because we have not been building much of that at all. In the meantime, improved uh, artillery. That's actually looking really good. So we can get some expeditionary forces from Belgium. I don't think we need them. They can keep them themselves. And uh, you guys just march over here. Just take everything. There shouldn't be any resistance at all. Did Italy, Italy already capitulate? No, not yet. It's not looking that good for them, actually. So I'm gonna sign a front here and do it myself then. And just take all of this. 
And as soon as you're there, just advance. If you want something done properly, you have to do it yourself, they say often. Well, apparently that's true. Uh, let's garrison the area. I hated that... No, not you. This one. I hated that I click on airfield so often that it's not working the way I want to. Come on, I just want to garrison this area. I believe that is all theirs. How much hostile occupation do we have? Well, not that much. And I will switch to the improved anti-tank actually because I just we are not producing that much of it yet. We're still gaining a lot of extra uh, efficiency over there, so we might as well switch. We don't lose that much efficiency out of it. Though we do need a lot more tungsten. So UK, here you go, get some tungsten. Uh, get some factories from us, Well, we get the tungsten. It's not that far ahead of time, so we'll research it now. Because we soon will get the research bonus for the next level after that. And that's gonna be really nice. Us having that extra little bonus over there. I would really like it if you push through indeed. And you just run to that city. Just run. You just kill that group. And that's it. Italy has capitulated. So I'm gonna assign these guys back to the Soviet front. Uh, no, these guys actually. And I will draw a battle plan for that front as well. It's going to be really ambitious. Just take everything. So far the Soviet Union has done nothing against us that makes me worried. But they're the Soviet Union, so they are making me worried. And look at that, Poland has gained so much territory. But that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode we hopefully will see the war against Japan go pretty strong. I mean there are some British troops over here. Well, not troops but just um, ships. And hopefully the United States will join our war as well and put some extra pressure in Japan so we can finish this sooner rather than later. But that's all gonna be in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.